Hey guys and gals, how's everybody doing? Craig from Meet Me Outside here. Got a chance to get out in the woods, so I'm out in the woods. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about pots and pans and my uh, slow progression and evolution of my pots and pans that I've used throughout the years. And maybe making another attempt at cooking some breakfast. We'll see. But I wanted to just do a short video on um, the cook pots and plates and pans that I've used throughout the years. Quick rundown and how I have evolved in a sense. Uh, I don't know if evolved is the right word, but just how I've changed my cookware throughout the years. The, the uh, very first kit of sorts I got was from Walmart, believe it or not. And it's from Coleman. It's called the Coleman Max, and it, I think it was uh, $14, like 12 years ago. And I got to be honest, this thing is bomb-proof. It's I, I've used the snot out of it. It's um, I think it's 24 ounces here, a little less than a liter. It's uh, aluminum. It's, it's got somewhat of a protective coating on the inside, and it comes with this uh, this lid. They call it a fry pan, but I'll talk about these later. It's not a fry pan. But um, it's good for like making gravy or something, little bits of whatever. I hardly ever use this, except to use it like that to boil water. But yeah, man, if you're a scout or somebody starting out, I'm not sure if they even make these anymore. They may not, but yeah, I highly recommend this. I mean, it, it's, it's well built. I mean, I put this thing through hell and back, and it's still great. It's still working fine. It is a little heavy, though, you know. Um, after that, when I started doing more backpacking in the whites and weight was more of a concern and I hadn't really gone the titanium route, I bought this GSI Minimalist Pot. Um, this thing is awesome. It's not titanium, it's aluminum as well, but it comes with a nice uh, lid, like a sip lid. Works great. It's got this sleeve, this neoprene sleeve that comes with it, with a drain hole in the bottom. There's no handle on it. It, uh... I don't know the weights. You can look the weights up online for all this stuff, but it's uh, very durable. It comes with this little grabber because it doesn't have handles. It comes with this little pot grabber type thing that you can grab it, and it actually works really good. Um, and there's a magnet in this thing, so you can stick it to the side of a gas canister if you wanted to. And I never really found a need to do that. But yeah, the GSI Minimalist. It's, it's, uh, it's got a place in my heart. It's been a lot, it's been a lot of places, this thing. They still make these, I believe. The GSI Minimalist. Let's see. Um, so I was gifted this Snow Peak. I believe this is the, oh, this one. I was gifted this Snow Peak. I think it's 1400, they call it. It's pretty big, it's titanium. It didn't come with a cover, so I've always had to put foil on it, but man, it's, you know, it's like any titanium, it's remarkably light. It's got nice handles, you can look this up. It's the uh, Snow Peak, I believe 1400, like I said. Um, and I've used this a lot. It's a little big, but it's great when you need the volume for sure. And I wasn't, um, I always wanted a lid for it. And you can't just buy the lid from Snow Peak, you gotta um, buy a whole new kit. So, and I wasn't really impressed with the lids anyway. So, I found this company called Four Dog Stoves. I'll put a link down in the description where uh, primarily for Snow Peak and I think Oil Camp or maybe some GSI products, they'll make you these lids. Not much money either. So this one's designed for this Snow Peak 1400. And it, it's awesome. Doesn't weigh, I don't think it's titanium, but it doesn't weigh anything. It's got a nice little wooden handle. Um, and it just works fantastic. So happy with that setup. Let's see. Man, I got a pile of pots here. Uh, and then I, I wanted something a little smaller, so I bought this. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Snow Peak 900. I believe this is 24 ounces as well, or it'll hold 24 ounces. Light, titanium, whatnot. And it comes with this, this lid fry pan. Again, like I talked about the GS, the uh, Max, this is not a fry pan. If you've ever tried to flip an egg in one of these, or even cook an egg, you're not getting down there with these vertical sides it just makes it impossible to get in and under especially eggs I suppose it'd be good for yeah, I'm not really sure what it'd be good for I've never used this and it doesn't really sit well on top you know it doesn't really sit well it's kind of loose I did put a little dimples on the edge so that I could actually snap it on 
and it stays on. Little trick, a couple little dimples with a, with a, a nail set or a punch and on each side, just enough of a dimple to hold it on. But again, it's just kind of a useless piece of gear in my opinion. So I, I also got a four dogs, four dog stove um, lid for this as well, and it works fine. I love these lids. They're not much money. I think they're like 15, 16 bucks a piece. Came in short time too. Nice people to deal with. Four dogs though. So that's my titanium kits. Uh, like I said, the 900, the 1400 with, with lids. Love that stuff. Also what I use a lot is this GSI uh, kettle. I've had this for, man, 10 or 12 years. The bottom's all sorted up. I don't bother cleaning it. It doesn't bother me. I got my gear to use, not to look pretty. <laughs> um, and one of the first things I did was remove this. It comes with a plastic coating on this handle. I cut that off the first, first few minutes I had it. Um, it's just, if it's going to melt, I don't need it there. you know. And to be honest with you, even on a fire, this handle never really gets that hot. And if it does, you know, you can reach over with a stick and grab it. Or a bandana it's really not a big deal I did leave the plastic on the little lid here for whatever reason no big deal but man I love cooking or cooking making coffee in this pine needle tea heating up soup or just water in general it's awesome I think they've changed this design of the new GSI kettle now I think it's got a flat handle and from what I can see or hear on the reviews it's not as robust they some reason people have to change things all the time so I think you can still find this original version on eBay perhaps I'm not really sure but yeah that's a really I love that thing and then I got this uh, Billy pot from fireboxstoves.com for not for, certainly not for backpacking it's stainless steel it's heavy I think this is the 14 center centimeter or two quart version they make different sizes 12 14 16 different sizes what I like this for is uh, canoe camping when there's no portaging required. This is great for just heat, boiling water, uh, heating up large quantities of stew perhaps or soups or whatnot. But yeah, I love this thing. And I also do a lot of baking with it. You can put a little uh, rack in here and bake, put the lid on, close it. You know, you can look these up online too. The Firebox stove billy can. Let's talk frying pans for a second. Um, like I said, those, these are not frying pans, folks. They shouldn't call them that. So, this is my GSI Pinnacle frying pan. Also, you can get these independently, but I got mine from Firebox. So, this is the 8-inch variety. I've had this for 8 years now, and it's not warped. People have warned me about using them on fire, saying they're going to warp. This one's not warped at all, and I don't baby, believe me, I don't baby anything. And um, this is awesome. It's uh, non-stick. I don't know if that bothers some people, but it doesn't bother me. It's non-stick. The handle comes off or easy. Um, you know, if we're putting it away, you can fold it like that or take it right off. The GSI Pinnacle Fry Pan. It's heavy. I mean, I would never take this backpacking, but for canoe camping, it's, uh, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. And then, also, I'm really super partial to these cold handle pans. This is an 8-inch. Um, it says Cold Handle Acme, New York. This one I got on eBay, I think it was $11 used, obviously, well seasoned. Um, it's just stamped steel, so there's not much to these, um, but they, they uh, disperse heat pretty good unless you've got a little you know, canister, so it's gonna get hot in that one spot, just like titanium, but um, if you're over a fire or a bigger flame, this is awesome. The only draw drawback to these is packability. You know, they got the handle sticking out, so unless you can slide it somewhere where it works out good, um, it's kind of a pain to pack, but it is light. It's a lot lighter than that GSI Pinnacle. And also, I bought two of these smaller ones. These are ideal. This, I think this is a, I don't know, 5-inch, 6-inch. I got two of these, again, on eBay used for 8 bucks, I think. Um, they're totally functional. These are great for frying eggs because the sides slope. They're not straight. They kind of slope. So you can actually get under there with a spoon or a, or a spatula and actually fry eggs in here if you want. These are actually very functional. Um, and lightweight, man, it's a, again, stamped steel. I don't know the exact weights of these, but it's hardly nothing, folks. It's hardly nothing. So anyway, I'm going to uh, get a fire going on my firebox stove, my firebox stove, and um, cook some breakfast. Yahoo!
there's so much pork going on here. Yum.
It's so good. <clears throat> Thanks for coming along. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Peace. Ooh, excuse me.